you know that excitement? Like, <laughs> Hi darlings, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having the most fabulous day. Today's video is going to be a Chanel double unboxing. I'm so excited about this one because I've got two Chanel items in one box. I've got a Chanel SLG and I've got a Chanel bag. I've just been searching for this one particular bag for the longest time. I'd say at least 18 months. This is a true unboxing by the way. I just received this box yesterday and then I was about to like unbox it and then I got called into work. I'm like, damn! <sighs> So today is my day off. I'm doing a true unboxing today. I'm so excited. Oh, so I'm gonna talk about postage. I'm gonna talk about the price. I'm gonna talk about the seller. I'm gonna talk about my whole experience and the reasons behind purchasing. Cheers guys, let's go. I'm just kidding. So how I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna go into straight into ripping this box open. It's all perfect, pristine, it's all sealed. The SLG has a box and I think it comes with everything, but the Louis Vuitton bat, the Louis Vuitton, but the Chanel bag does not come with a box. It came straight from Japan. Let's unbox this one together. Let's go straight into it. I'm so excited. Okay. So it's got some paper, let's take that out. So I'm gonna open this item first. So this here is the little SLG. Gonna open this item here. Wow! And uh, oh my gosh, I'm not expect. Okay, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, so I've got the Chanel authenticity card, and this one says that it is a 22 series SLG, and then I've got the uh, Chanel. Oh, it's got like a little Chanel. Japanese something there. You guys can read it. And then I've got just like the little booklets. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so it comes with a gorgeous Chanel dust bag. Okay, I'm just gonna open this one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, let me have a look at it. It is so cute. <gasps> introducing you to my very first ever Chanel small O makeup case. It's black lambskin with silver hardware and it is looking perfect and pristine. I'll just give you a quick zoom in. Oh look at that. It is so cute. It says Chanel on it and on the back there. On the inside it's got the gorgeous lush burgundy interior. And it says Chanel made in Italy, just there, which is gorgeous. It's got that inner pocket. It's got the little gusset sides to make it open up really easy. This is so perfect, guys. I'm so happy with this one. So this purchase here was inspired by Minx for All. She has this exact same SLG, but in red lambskin. And I absolutely fell in love with it. I was searching for one, whether it be red or black, but obviously I preferred black, you know me. I just love black SLGs and bags because it's just so easy to use. With the price point that I paid for it, being in such like excellent condition, this is like new condition. I don't think this is ever been used at all. Seriously, this looks like it's a display piece. I don't think even Australia got this piece in which kind of sucks with Chanel because they skip countries like some countries have this in like all different colors some countries like miss out altogether so I'm so glad that I finally found one I've just been wanting a cute little Chanel O pouch case just to put little toiletries and cosmetics there is seriously room for so much more I've got five lipsticks in here and it just feels just fits so much and it's the cutest size and the lambskin on this feels buttery smooth and really really nice so this is my chanel small o pouch and i cannot wait to use it okay now moving on to the chanel bag i'm so excited about this so it didn't come with the box but nonetheless i'm so happy that i have this part of my collection uh i'm really nervous because i did ask the seller to send me extra photos of just the hardware, see if there's any wear in it or any dents or any scratches. There's only so much that I could zoom in uh, because, you know, the photos just could only show so much, especially with hardware, it's really hard to tell. But I'm so excited about this one. I'm so happy at the way that this SLG turned out, which is like perfect. So I'm hoping that this one turns out perfect as well. Um, what the sellers uh, described this item was, is it was S rank, which means that it was a display piece. Even though it didn't come with a box, I might have a spare box somewhere. Can you guys guess what it is by looking at the shape? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. 
All right. So it comes with the dust bag. Oh. All right. It has been such a struggle to find this bag in perfect pristine condition and the ones that I found either had no authenticity card, they come with nothing, they were all beaten up and the price was still ridiculous but this one was it was an expensive price but I was willing to pay the price for the condition of this item. <gasps> Ta-da! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! All right, I'm gonna have a look at it. I have no idea what to expect. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. This is like perfect. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. The hardware, everything, the corners are all perfect and pristine. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm so glad to finally have found the one. All right, so what I have here, guys, this is a Chanel Classic Square Flap, which is now known as a Chanel Square Mini. I'm going to open it. Oh, seriously, it is, like, perfect. Oh, wow. The chain is um, bubble wrapped. And the chain is all brand spanking new. Okay, all right, so it's got the authenticity card on the inside here and this bag here is a It's a 13 series bag This one says Chanel made in France. This one is black caviar with silver hardware This Chanel bag was part of the classic range now. It's like a seasonal piece back in the day They used really beautiful caviar because it's quite a flat caviar. It's got the gorgeous top edge stitching which means that this bag is more square and structured. The silver chain is really nice and really shiny. The corners are perfect. There's no scuffing. There's no nothing on it. The base of the bag has no scratches or scuffing. The back pocket is all perfect. The lip on the back here is really tight. Seriously, there's no dust in there at all. It's just got one flap. The Chanel Paris on here is all perfect and shiny. There's no scratches on there. The quilts are really puffy and gorgeous. On the inside, there's no marking, there's no scratching. It's got the one zipper compartment where they put the authenticity card it's got a little slip pocket on the slip pocket here is it says Chanel made in France the reason why I purchased this bag was because of hey June as soon as I saw her bag reveal video of this square classic flat I was just so in love with it like the first time I watched it, I was like yeah okay the second time I watched it the third time I watched it I was just hooked and I was like oh my gosh I need to have that bag I've, I've searched high and low for this guys I've searched for at least 18 months non-stop on every single platform possible to find this and I finally found it via Atlantis Tokyo so I cannot thank them enough seriously this is like the perfect combo, black with silver, black with silver. I'll see if it actually fits inside. Oh my gosh, it does. It fits inside perfectly. This is my iPhone 6 Plus and it fits perfectly in here, the plus size. And you have so much more room to put other stuff. Can I fit my Chanel pouch in here? I most possibly can. Oh, most definitely. Oh, definitely. <laughs> this is perfect. You can fit so much in these little mini bags and they're the perfect size for going out, for everything, dressing up, dressing down, casual. I seriously cannot believe I have this bag part of my collection. This seriously completes, completes my Chanel collection. I'm at bag piece now. The price that I paid for these two items is 5,018 Australian dollars. So this bag works out to be about 4,280 Australian dollars. This little O pouch here works out to be about 720 Australian dollars so I'm really happy with the price that I paid for both of these especially with the condition that these are in it's really hard to find both these items in perfect condition and these ones are perfect condition these items will be loved and used a lot I'm so stoked I cannot recommend Atlantis Tokyo enough even though there was little communication but their listings were spot-on when it came to the items condition and the price was pretty reasonable for what it was and especially that I didn't have to pay no import duties and taxes on it I'm so lucky because in Australia we have to pay a 15% total of duties taxes and government fees on top of the purchase price for 
any goods over a thousand Australian. That's a wrap for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If I did forget anything, I will leave all the information down in the description bar down below. So that's all for this video for today. Please take care. Until next time, I will see you again soon. Bye.